I'm going to start this video with a jet that I caught spewing some type of a chemical out of its tail section where there are no jets, where these can't be a contrail. The jets are obviously the four engines underneath the wing. This is coming out of the tail section of the plane. I've documented this before. These planes are spraying chemicals. Now we're going to look at the swirling of the clouds over the Doppler sites. So, so the first clip was Texas. Now we're up in Kansas. We're looking at the Doppler in Kansas yesterday. And what we're going to see today, they actually cause the clouds to swirl. We're starting at the wide view and you can see the swirling in the center over Missouri at this point. We'll get a little bit closer. We'll see the radar front and back causing the clouds to twist. We'll get an even a closer shot, so you see the radar working these clouds. Wonder why we have more tornadoes today. Let's go to Kansas and see what's going on over there. To Emporia, Kansas. This video was sent in by Chris of a sky completely loaded with mammatus clouds. I received photos and videos from three different people that do not know each other from April 30th that were very captivated by these highly photogenic clouds above Kansas. Once again, on April 30th, that was video Jake Blake, also April 30th. These videos were taken less than 40 miles apart. This one's in Wichita. The first video was near Emporia. And then I also received a couple of photos that you saw here on the homepage of the website. Here's one of the photos that was sent in by, by Steve Howard. And here is photo number two. Same day, same location in central Kansas. The sky was putting on quite a show. So the question is, why do these clouds spin up right over the top of Doppler stations? Every one of them. We got jets releasing chemicals into the sky. We got radar beams beaming up into the clouds. And we got twisting cloud formations over the top of the radar sites. So, kind of explains it all.